I'm choosing this corner of the uh, backyard deck right here. So um, this is where I get a lot of sun. Um, and then in the afternoon, the sun kind of sets over there and we got some shade so it won't be too harsh and i think it's a good place and before you put the tower on use these uh, shower strainers to um, catch any kind of debris that would fall into the uh, um, to the pipes Back here where the uh, where the pop goes, I just use some tin snips and just cut this opening. And now the cap can just go over like that, and then we still got the uh, the power, and this is stable. This is a uh, two gallon bucket, so we'll see how many it will need to fill it up. Here I have 24 rings and I will fit them. Um, all the other towers already has rings on them. I'm just gonna uh, put them on this last one here. All right, guys, this is all done. I just put on the last ring and they all have rings on them now. I'm gonna turn it on and see how that goes. Okay, you can hear the pump. Here we go. Here we go. Water. Alright, it's working. See this? Okay guys, so overall I have this running for about 10 to 15 minutes now. And these two uh, towers in the front doesn't seem to have any problem, but back here I have a little bit of a uh, leak and I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe just looks like it's just splash. So maybe if I have the, um, the potted plant in there, it's not, it's, it, it, it'll prevent it from leaking. But this one I have to find out where it's actually leaking from. And then maybe 
I think I think maybe some somewhere over here like that. Or maybe something like this I have to glue with silicone. But very minimal leak. Not a problem. We could fix that easily. Uh, but overall, looks good. Water's running strong. Here and here. All right, and uh, I'm gonna put in a couple of potted plants that I have grown. These are the nutrient solution that you get on the Amazon. And this is designed for hydroponics. So uh, I'm gonna follow the instructions and uh, add the appropriate amount to the water reservoir. Okay, so this is calling for 16 milliliters at the startup and second feeding for a 12 pot aero garden. And I have almost a hundred pots here. So this can't be right. Um, for outdoor gardens, four milliliter per gallon each watering. So Okay, so I'm only gonna start planting on this tower. The other tower, luckily I have these shut off valves I can shut off because I don't have any plants for them yet. And uh, I've only grown enough, not even enough. This is 24 uh, pots and I don't even have enough for that. So I'm gonna start just uh, experimenting to grow on the first, the first tower. Um, and then see how that goes and then as I as I germinate other seeds and uh, for more plants then I will start filling up the other ones and turning these nozzles up so that's good I put these nozzles in so that way I don't have to have all the towers going all at once here are the 50 pack 2 inch diameter uh, netted pots so I'll have a link in the description below you guys can check that out. Okay, a couple of things to keep in mind. There's water coming out of these side holes because it's not completely sealed. Uh, now, if you don't mind having to refill this like every day, every other day, then you can leave it, but it bothers me. So what I did here, um, I put some silicone on all of the sides. All of the sides here. So if I go and turn this one on, There's no water leakage. There's no water leakage. There might be one or two drop that's coming out of here, but that's because there's no pot inside of it now, but there's no water coming out the side. So if you want to do that, I suggest using some silicone. This is the silicone that I use, uh, American Sealant Ink. And this is um, for outside mildew resistant all of that good stuff you guys can check it out here and also this product is acceptable as a sealant on surfaces with incidental food contact so uh it's as safe as it gets probably not a hundred percent food grade but and i'll put a link for this product in the description below and you guys can go check out all the specs don't take my word for it. Make your own decision whether you want to use this or not. That's up to you.